Welcome to Walking with Jordy. Purchase your tracks today. Hey everybody, welcome to the third episode of the Walking with Jordy Q&A segment where you ask questions and I answer them as thoughtfully as possible. Today's question is by Fetty's Journey, make it pop up here, how to get customers to keep coming back. And wow, I'm really pumped about this question because if it's anything after five years, the thing that has kept me afloat year by year, month by month, week by week and day by day is having people come back to me and bringing a referral or two on their way. And how do we do that? So the hardest part of any business is to get the client because there's clients over there, there's clients over there, there's clients everywhere. But the part, the, the big nuance in that is how do you get them to keep coming back? But before you can get to that, how do you get them to get on board in the first place? Now, for argument's sake, just so that we can answer the question, we're gonna assume that we've already gotten the clients. We got their names, we got their numbers, we got their emails, we got their addresses, and then boom, you have all this information, you have all this data, but now it's what you do with it. And that's the fun part about business, for me at least, right? So after we've gotten all this information, one of the best, most simplistic answers to this is that you have to treat those clients well. Meaning that you have to look after those clients as if there was a sibling, a lover, a family member, parent, whatever. Now, think about this. Think about the times, and this one is for my ladies, when a guy is trying to get to know you and he puts in a lot of work, he's showing up, he's sending you good morning texts, he's sending you flowers, he's popping up at work. If you allow it, you know we don't want no creeps. And... After that now, after he's gotten in, after he gotten the kiss, he gotten the little sh- sh- whatever, that work stops. A lot of us treat business like that. We work so hard to get the client, we get the sale, we get the money, deposit it, and then boom, buy it, forget about the client. If you treat your clients like that, then it's kind of obvious why they don't come back. It's what you do after the transaction that matters. Now, some of the things that I do is that I do surprise phone calls. You know, I and I'm very mindful about the fact that some people do work during the days, so I'll probably make a phone call after 5 or 6 p.m. Oh, hey, how you doing, client? You know, um, I just want to check in after the shoot to see how you're doing. You know, it's been about two or three months and I'll notice because it will be on the invoice. So make sure you get your invoices and oh, hey, you know, I just want to check on you. Another thing that's really delightful as well is to send nice, thoughtful emails. Don't automate this because the nuances and the context of the interaction that y'all had matter. Maybe y'all talked about sports while you were doing somebody's hair, doing their face. Maybe when they were buying some wine or some products from you, y'all had an exchange about some family history because y'all both happened to be deep into y'all family history, whatever it may be. One of the other parts that you know we don't really speak about often is of what if you have their address now this this is where snail mail really comes into play because snail mail really isn't that crowded of an environment like email and social right now so think about this you have x person's instagram facebook snapchat whatever you can look through their feed and say maybe they like the new york knicks or the la lakers or they like yoga and even more thought, something more thoughtful than the email or the text message is you sending them a custom Lakers jersey in their name or you buying a yoga mat that has their name and a big thank you written all over it. Like that creates value. And pretty much, you know, any other little tactic that I'll get into, what it boils down to is creating value. Creating value after the fact is something that is not expected, which is why it brings more value to the client. Because you don't have to call them. They're not expecting you to be thinking about them after you've taken their money. Y'all had the exchange, you delivered the service, they were happy, you were happy with the money, and then boom, it's the extra effort that people take notice of. You know, that girl that you 
took the extra effort of driving or going to the train and getting the flowers because you heard, overheard her saying that she liked lilies or tulips or like pink roses and then you delivering that that's value and if you add value to your customers after the fact especially when it's not expected that's how you get them to keep coming back and that's how you play the game consistency and delivering value and those things that i said i'll just repeat them again for emphasis sending those nicely worded emails stalking their social in a very good way to see the kind of things that they're interested in because people tend tend to post about the things that they like sending nicely worded text messages you know doing email campaigns every now and again and that's the game i hope you enjoyed Welcome to Walking with Jordy. Purchase your tracks today.